What's up guys? A little bit of a quick and quiet intro because of course, as soon as I start filming this, the baby falls asleep right next to me. So we're gonna get through this quickly. But today I wanted to do a review of the Wet n Wild Cloud Pout Collection. The brand sent me every single shade in the line and it's gotten me, it's taken me forever to like get to them, try them, try them all on, but I did it. I tried them all on yesterday, but I haven't had a chance to do like a real thorough wear test. I've always had something else on my lips or I just threw one on for a look and haven't really like worn them throughout the day to see how they wear. So I figured that's what we'll do today. Do a little vlog style follow me around I guess so we can see how you know one of these shades wears throughout the day and then at the end of this video I will put all of the swatches in case you're just here for like the review part and the swatches I'll put timestamps down below for that but that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and get into it so I think one of the best way to determine wear with these is to choose a bolder color so I can really see the wear pattern on my lips as the day goes on. I gotta be honest, I don't think these are gonna be super long wearing just because in trying these on, they didn't stain my lips, they didn't fully dry down, they were very easy to apply and remove. Uh, so some people might like that, some people might not, but let's see what that kind of formula really means for us throughout the day. The color I'm gonna wear is I'm on Cloud Wine, which is a deep brick red. I was contemplating more of like a true blue based red, this, is don't sugarcoat it, but it's this is like a very cold weather red to me, I think, a little bit moodier, let's do it. Ooh, before I apply this, I have, I tried not to put anything on my lips beforehand because in the past I've had like a lip conditioner on and it really, I mean, obviously affects the way uh, these wear. And I have, oh, it's olive oil on my lips. Finn is still battling a little bit of cradle cap and the pediatrician recommended, um, you know, treatment, but then also applying olive oil to his head. <laughs> so um, when I kiss him, my lips are coated in olive oil. So that's, that's what that is. But I think it has been thoroughly wiped. Now let's go in. Okay, so you can see super pigmented application. I did layer this up two times. I found that the first pull out of the tube didn't quite give me enough to go all across my lips, so I did one more dip and that gave us the coverage that we see here right now. Um, one thing that I've noticed in trying all of these on is that it's a it's a moussey formula. It's a super soft, plush, kind of slippery feeling formula, but it's matte. So you get a comfortable formula feel, but a matte texture if that is what you're after. Um, I do think that that softer formula is what keeps it from drying down, like a kind of a true uh, liquid lipstick, but from what I hear, and me personally, but from also what I'm hearing from a lot of people, we're kind of over the dry your lips out liquid lip. Am I right? I don't know. So just something to be aware of. Also, the doe foot with these is like your standard doe foot, but I find that with the formula combined with the doe foot, it really gives me some blurry edges. Like it is kind of a challenge to get a crisp, clear edge with this formula because of the soft moussey formula and the doe foot applicator. Not that I mind, but just, again, something to be aware of, some observations as we wear this. Okay, I think we have escaped this intro without waking him up. Let's not risk it anymore. Let's let's go on with our day. Okay, I totally forgot to clock what time I put that on, so I went back to look at the audio file because I recorded, so it's not important. It was 10.15, and since then it is now 11.45, so an hour and a half, and I have just been recording. Um, Finn woke up, did some stuff with him, but bottom line is there hasn't been a whole lot of wear and tear. I haven't been drinking water like I normally do and should. Haven't eaten so, uh, but I just wanted to show you like this, this is what it looks like. It has in the time that I've had it on felt like it dried down a little bit. So it's still very comfortable, but just feels like it's a thicker texture. Um, however, yeah, it's still not transfer proof, but you know, it didn't like leave a like a hole in product on my lips. So that's pretty good. Uh, next up, I'm gonna go make some lunch. It's like a little salad. I got the recipe off of TikTok, honestly. It's delicious, but it is gonna have some oil in it. So that should put some strain on this lip. Let's go do that.
right, lunch is eaten. There's not much left of this. It's a little stained. It's a little stained. But it hasn't really bled. The lines are still blurred, but it's, I mean, it's gone. My lips are a little stained, so it looks like I have something on. Excuse me. But yeah, definitely need for a reapplication. Oh, and by the way, that was my second time making that salad and I'm still kind of getting the mixture of the dressings right. Uh, after I filmed, I added more olive oil and salt and pepper and it really, so good. Okay, I'm going in for a reapplication. Here are the lips in better light. I mean, you can see there's, there's nothing left. So reapplication and I think I will just stick to one, like one layer this time instead of doing the two. There we go. Did I say this? We're going on a walk. Finley needs a nap and he's having some trouble sleeping. So it's time for a little lunchtime walk. Let's go. So I flipped on the camera to show the lip in like more natural and direct sunlight. And I realized <laughs> I feel very overdressed for just a simple walk in the park midday on a Tuesday. But then I realized no one is as cute as the person I'm with right now. Check this out, oh my God. I'm sorry. Oh, go back to sleep. Um, this is a fox onesie, Finn the fox. That's from Target, by the way. My mom picked that up probably late summer, early fall last year. One for him and one for my niece and they are matching. They are adorable, oh my God. Okay, I think it's time to do some final thoughts. It is 4.30 now. So basically this is as full a day aware as this is going to get. After that reapplication, I've only reapplied it once throughout the day, right after lunch. And I've been drinking water and I had a light snack, this granola that is like, it's addictive, but that's not the point of this video. Final thoughts on the Wet n Wild Cloud Pouts. I actually, I really like them. You can see that with light eating and drinking, not as much gets worn away. It definitely does stain the lips over time, which is interesting because I didn't think that was the case when I was just swatching these, but as they dry down on the lips, they definitely stain the lips so the pigment stays with you. But the texture and the product itself definitely goes away and is also still not totally transfer proof, but it doesn't get uncomfortable on the lips as it dries down. So yes, it becomes a little bit less moussey, a little bit less soft and pillowy, but that doesn't make it uncomfortable on the lips and you still get the pigmentation. Um, it does, you know, I mean, I wasn't exactly the most precise when I applied it. So you can see the edges are blurred, but honestly, like I said at the very beginning, I think you get those blurry edges just by nature of the moussey the soft formula and the doe foot that it's on. You could probably clean that up with like concealer around the edges and, and stuff like that. But because it doesn't dry all the way down, I wouldn't expect it to stay in place uh, all that precisely throughout the day. All in all, I, I really like these, especially from a brand like Wet n Wild where you can't beat the price. They're, the quality is really nice. And, oh, before I forget, these do have a scent. They are very sweetly and strongly scented of like a sugary, a sponge sugar, like cotton candy sort of smell. I think it's pretty pleasant, but we all experience smells differently. So some of you might think it's overwhelming or synthetic smelling. I find it to be pretty pleasant and there's not a taste that goes along with it at all. So what, I smell it when I apply it and then it really doesn't affect me at all throughout the wear. So that's it. I like these and think you should check them out if you've been curious about them. Let me know what you thought of this style of video down in the comments below. I would love to hear, was it interesting? Was it super boring? Do you not care one way or the other? Tell me, please, in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Let's get to the swatches.